hi hi hello so it has been a long time since i came on the youtube space but now guess what i am back and i'm i am here to give you lots and lots of amazing canva tutorials hacks tips tricks that can help your design process seamless now down to what i have for you today today's tutorial or hack is a it's something I just recently found out and ever since I found it out, it has saved me so much time. It has saved me so much time and stress. I can't express how happy or how happy I was when I found this out. And as always, trust me to bring you the tea. So if you have not subscribed to my channel, what you want to do now is to subscribe so you do not miss out on Canva hacks, tips, tricks, tutorials, wherever I drop them. Again, please subscribe and share the good news. Share my channel. Let people hear the good news. So let's go down to what I have for you today. So I just want to click create a design. Then I will click Instagram post. Then I will go down to photos. Then I will just search for happy woman, which is what I have. Okay, I have it here already. I'm just going to search for happy woman. So what we're trying to do today is to get images within the same collection so i'm going to show you how you can search for images within the same collection for example you are designing a carousel and you just you know you need images within the same collection or you need images that are related how do you go about that that's what i'm about to show you so we've searched for happy woman i want to use this image so what i want to do next to click on these three dots then you see where i have the description where it says photo of young excited beautiful woman I'm just going to click it and it will take me to another tab. Now that I am in another tab, what I want to do is to copy the text. That's the description. Go down to Canva, the search box and paste it. Now you see, we have images that are within the same collection. We have images that are related and within the same collection. Oh my God. I really, really love this. And it has saved, this is, I know this is going to save so much time. So, so much time. Let me know what you think. Have you tried this out? Did you know about this before? Now let's search for another image. Let's use this one. Again, I click on the three dots and click on the description. It redirects me to another page. I open it up, then copy the description, go back. And on the, in the search box, I am just going to paste it here then search now you can see this all images provided are within the same collection and they're all related i think this is super cool especially if you want to create carousels i like my images to have like the same feel or to be related and not you know different different images except on in, in occasions where on occasions where I'm, i am um, i just want to do something different i think this is going to save you a lot of time did you know about this are you going to try it out and that is the end of today's tutorial hack tip tricks again like i mentioned in the beginning don't forget to subscribe if you've not subscribed you should subscribe because i am going to be bringing you canva tip tricks and hacks let me know what you think about this do you like it was did you find it helpful if you have a tutorial or a hack you want me to put out there you want me to create a video on or a tutorial on please let me know in the comment section Thank you for watching and see you next time.